I made a text favorite just in this file as a test. And in this text favorite, I have my text style set. And I have a point station where I'm showing the partial station label. And then I have a point offset where I put in a suffix of a tick mark. And that is basically all I did. Set the accuracy to zero in label format as master units. The other thing that I had to do was in Explorer, where you have your annotation group for your, your horizontal baseline. Um, in my example, it's called stationing. If we go to manage this, I added a new entry called trees, and this could be power poles or whatever you want. For the location, I'm going to choose event point list and put in the event point list name that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be calling my event point list trees. I'm going to be placing text, and you can set an element template in here to control symbology. I'm going to set an angle value here of zero. And if you want to give it a little bit of a, an offset, you can. And then down here, I went in and made sure to turn on view independent is true. And then I picked my text favorite called test. And so that's what I added to my linear annotation group for my baseline. Okay. Now to see this work, you want to go to your, I've already got the, just a side note, I've already got the baseline annotated. So the annotation group's in here and I revised it. Obviously, you'll want to modify your annotation group in your master DJ library. But underneath the geometry tab, you want to go to your event list and it's going to ask you to select the alignment. And then that gives you a default name here. So the first thing we'll want to do is we're going to want to rename that list. So I'm going to call it trees because that's what I'm looking for in that annotation definition. So there's trees. Okay. Then I want to go in and select what it is I want to annotate. Now this can be done with a microstation selection set. I'm just doing it manually. And then you simply come in and say, I want to import these, add by station and offset to the event point list. And then instead of picking a station range, you can just reset and then accept. And then as soon as those are accepted, and added as event points along the alignment, I will then get the automated annotation uh, for the, each of those as shown. And so I have a plus uh, for station value slash and then the offset value.